So what can you do for your anxiety? If you watch this video to the very end, you'll learn five easy self-care ideas for anxiety. The last self-care idea for anxiety is a really powerful one that most people do not know about. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this. My name is Mike Vini, and on this channel you will find peace of mind through the gift of emotional wellness. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I regularly share brand new videos and I invite you to subscribe so you don't miss this opportunity. A little bit about me. I'm a certified corporate wellness specialist, author, speaker, course instructor, and the CEO of Mike Vini Inc. I am not, however, a mental health professional. So, if you are thinking of harming yourself, someone else, or in need of medical help, please consult a doctor. If you are in, a, if you are in an emergency, please call 911. That's my disclaimer there. Anxiety, what is it? It's intense, excessive, persistent worry and fear about everyday situations. And it involves a fast heart rate, a rapid breathing, sweating, feeling tired, feeling shaky. Personally, I know anxiety well, in fact, Prior to this recording, I had to work with my anxiety so I could be present and do it. At its worst, my anxiety is debilitating, and at its best, it's manageable enough so I can function. For most of my life, I've had anxiety. I've had to work really hard to find tools, hacks, and strategies just to feel okay enough to function. But I'm excited to share some with you. Here are five easy self-care ideas for anxiety that I wish someone would have taught me. They aren't meant to cure your anxiety, but to simply make it more manageable. Now, the first one I covered in my video on self-care ideas for depression, and it's something I cannot say enough about. Number one is to find the right therapist or counselor. If you are going to therapy or counseling, make sure you're getting the most out of it. If you haven't gone to therapy or counseling or need to, usually it takes two to three sessions to find the right therapist or counselor. Please do your research, read reviews, get recommendations, but in two, th two to three sessions, you'll learn if it's the right person. It's a process, and so is dealing with your anxiety. It's a process. Also, be proactive in between your sessions. I learned this the hard way. <clears throat> I would go to my therapist when I started with her and just say, cure me, basically. And I realized that that wasn't happening. I, I get frustrated with her, actually. And I had to be proactive in between sessions. That means blocking out time to reflect, do homework, etc. Another thing that you can do is if you are going to therapy or counseling now, and let's just say you're feeling like your therapist or counselor is not working anymore. Well, that's usually a sign that you've grown. Congratulations, and they've done their job. So keeping therapy and counseling happening, if you're new to it, get started with it. If you've been to it before, go again. Be proactive in between the sessions. Number two, dance. Yep, I said it. Have a dance party with yourself. There's this book that's taken over the world of mental health called The Body Keeps Score. It talks about the fact that we store emotions and trauma in our body. And one way to look at anxiety is stored energy. And a great way to deal with it for self-care is just have a dance party with yourself. Now, I would love to demonstrate that right now, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not ready to do that. The thought of that gives me anxiety. Number three, my favorite, learn to meditate. Meditation is a technique or getting guidance to focus your attention, deepen your awareness, and achieve a clear mind while at the same time calming your emotions. Now, oftentimes when I bring up meditation to people, they think, well, I can't concentrate, you know, or I'm not doing it right. It's not about that. None of us can concentrate. It's about being patient with yourself and bringing yourself back to whatever it is that you're supposed to focus on. That's it. Sometimes I go a whole session and can't concentrate. I do a style of meditation called Transcendental Meditation. I'll leave a link in the description. And there are YouTube videos, apps such as Calm, Headspace. Uh, if you're a Christian and prefer a Christian meditation, there's one called Abide. There's something for everyone out there on meditation. I encourage you to do it. Please comment below and let me know a PG-13 self-care idea that you have used effectively for anxiety. Number four, practice deep breathing. Deep breathing increases the supply of oxygen to your brain and stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes a state of calmness. Again, any of the apps I talked about before with meditation, you can find deep breathing in there too. And believe it or not, certain types of deep breathing is a form of meditation. So, or certain types of deep breathing are a form of meditation, I should say. So these are some things that you can do. But number five, I think this is actually the most powerful one. Ground yourself on earth. 
Let me explain. I know you're on earth right now as you're watching this. Maybe you're not, I don't know, but hopefully you're on earth. Put your feet, bare feet, on the ground outside. The earth's surface carries a negative electrical charge due to the high numbers of free electrons being created by constant lightning strikes, believe it or not. So when your body is in contact with the earth, this acts as an antioxidant and it helps reduce inflammation. So earth has the potential to really help calm your anxiety when it's in overdrive and balance the nervous system and just reduce stress. I love doing this and I've gotten into it recently and believe it or not, this is a technique called earthing too. And I carry a grounding mat with me when I travel that plugs into the grounding hole in the outlet. And when I'm traveling and it's winter and I don't wanna be on my bare feet standing on the ground, I still get the same effect of standing on the ground when I use this mat. So it's really, really powerful. And if you're doing it outside, you'll get some fresh air in the process. Mm -hmm. Fresh air. So to review here, basically, number one, find the right therapist or counselor. If you are going to therapy or counseling, good. Make sure you're getting the most of it. Number two, dance. Number three, learn to meditate. Number four, practice deep breathing. And number five, ground yourself here on earth. Now you know some self-care ideas for anxiety, but what about some more help and guidance on how to take care of yourself? I've created a library of courses on self-care that you can find on opensesame.com by clicking the link in the description. Next, be sure to check out my video on self-care ideas for college students. If you liked this video, please click that like button and share it with your friends. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Thank you for spending some time with me and I'll see you in the next video.